The employer has to decide whether the apprentice is ready for endpoint assessment or not. So they should have a really good view of the apprentice's on-job performance because it's the on-job performance that counts. But that's supported by the qualifications embedded in the standard, for example, a competence MVQ3. We would then require ourselves, their individual line manager, to approve that they feel in every way the apprentice is ready for their job as a team member in maintenance. Once that's the case, we will then make sure that all the evidence required in terms of the certification uh, that they've gained along the programme is approved and that they meet the gateway requirements. We then put them forward to endpoint assessment. So the process for the Mechatronics endpoint assessment is twofold. We have an endpoint assessment of professional competence and we have an endpoint assessment of occupational competence. For the professional competence, the candidate needs to complete a form which describes their um, achievements against the IMEC-E EngTech standards. That's a written application that goes to the IMEC-E. For the occupational competence, there's an interview that takes place based on portfolio evidence gathered by the apprentice and interviewed by a company representative. So that's a semi-independent model where the company will decide whether that evidence reaches the standard required. So the occupational competence interview is a structured interview that takes place by a company assessor who's been trained by the EAL company who are actually leading on the occupational competence. That interview is a written interview where all the questions are pre-scripted by the assessor from the company and by EAL following EAL's guidelines. The interview will be held and the candidate will basically give evidence of how they met each of the knowledge, skills and behaviours in the, required by the standard by providing evidence gathered during the apprenticeship against a portfolio basically. So if the candidate's been successful at the occupational competence interview and met the requir requirements of the professional competence uh, review against the NGTEC standard, then the candidate has completed his apprenticeship and then will be certificated. We have chosen EAL and the IMECI as our single supplier of endpoint assessment, largely because we've worked with EAL for many years. So EAL provide our qualifications. They are a trusted brand to ourselves, as is the IMECI. So we partner with the IMECI for things like Chartered Engineer Achievement. Our program was approved by the IMECI to deliver against the EngTech standard. So both EAL and IMECI are for us a known and trusted brand and we're very happy with the quality we're receiving from both.